there is someone here who's being a complete complete control freak okay you're dealing with someone here who's my way or the highway someone who's just not who's just not budging someone who's stubborn as fuck and not taking action and you're waiting for this person to take action towards you, waiting for this person to come towards you with commitment, waiting for this person to be serious about you, waiting for this person to give you uh, something traditional or uh, give you something long term. But this person out here is someone who's just not operating in their element with the emperor here. This person's lacking structure. They're not being able to take responsibility for their actions. And looks like you are a little, you're like a little too fed up of waiting for this person to come towards you. You've done your bit, Aquarius. You've done your bit. You're waiting for this person to do their bit. All right? That's what's going on. And you seem to be quite fed up, frustrated for this person to come towards you. You have a lot of love for them, but I think for right now, you're just choosing to shut off emotionally. All right. How does Aquarius see themselves in this connection? Something's just, someone's just making you wait forever. Okay? And the kind of person that you're dealing with is a little too oppressive a little too overbearing okay and this person out here is someone who's i think in your connection here the person who's not taking action the person the person who's being stubborn is the one who's calling the shots right now and you're just waiting for this person if this person come to comes towards you that's when you get the ball rolling if they don't you're just done you're moving on something like that how do you see yourself in this connection aquarius how do you see yourself in this connection could be dealing with someone married How does this person see themselves in this connection? The person that you're dealing with has been tried to be is either A, single, being single, acting single, even if they're a part of this connection with you. Okay. This person out here has been wanting to be, they're okay on their own. Okay. They're very focused on their finances, their mental security, financial independence, etc. But someone out here who I'm seeing here who's, who's just not looking at making a relationship work. Now they're wanting to come towards you. Okay. The only problem is here is that you're dealing with somebody who's very slow moving. Okay. Almost like just stuck and stagnant out here right now. They're just not making a move towards you. But anyways, this person is slow moving. That's why see, that's why I told you, right? It's taking forever because this person is, that's the slowest moving energy of the deck here. Okay. This is someone who is stubborn. Okay. Someone who's very loyal. Someone who's very committed. Deep down, they're very committed to you, but they just take forever to commit. They're very slow to commit here. Okay, and this person out here is who I'm getting is very stubborn. Okay, I feel they won't let you go, but they'll keep you stuck in the connection. Even if they're not, this is the kind of feeling that you're getting. That it's just like they're just, you just, you just feel you're being fucked with. Okay, because this person won't make a move. Okay, you on the other hand here, you're the one who's more emotional is what I'm getting here. You've given this person your all. You've tried to balance the situation out. But every single time you give this person unconditional love to an extent to an extent where you overlooked the red flags that this person was bringing in in the name of love okay it's like you let it go you let it go you let it go you understand you understand you mother them you you're just tempering your emotions you're just taking care of them like a mother like a father like okay you know it's okay it's okay it's okay trying to understand this person from where they're coming from but what you didn't realize is that you were putting in so much more effort okay and this person was just doing nothing about it they didn't appreciate you for the work you put in. It was a one-sided situation. There was a lack of reciprocity. There was just no equal give and take. And now what's happened is that it's put you on a point where you've completely emotionally detached from this person. Like I said, there are chances you've already given up or you just feel something was a waste of time. You've completely detached from this person and you're just like, you know what? That was a waste of time. This person never gave you what you deserved. Okay. And... Um, now they're coming in towards you, okay? Now they're wanting to be in a relationship with you or at least they're wanting to put it out exclusively or someone here who is just wanting to be single all this while, although they felt this connection with you, but now they're ready to come towards you, okay? They're ready to, they, they'd rather be with you than be single is what I'm getting. This person's fed up of being single now, okay? 
I think I even saw the page of cups. Could be an apology coming in. Could be new love coming in. Or this could just be someone here who wants some emotional communication with you. Because you're shut off. You're dealing with someone who is not really the best at expressing their emotions. Each difference is also what I'm getting. Okay. Now you're shut off. You're done. You're just detached completely. And you're all, you're, you're making yourself a priority. And this connection is no more a priority for you. And now this person, the tables have changed. And now they're making you a priority. And you're just shut off. All right, how does this person, um, tell me, how does this person view Aquarius? How does this person view Aquarius? How does this person view uh, Aquarius? How does Aquarius view this person? They view you as someone who's given up on this connection. They view you as someone who's just no longer manifesting them anymore. Okay. It's like you have everything that you need. Okay. You've either stopped communicating with them. There are chances there's no communication between you guys. Or you've just given up. You just, They just see you as someone who's been manifesting this connection all this while. You had the willingness and you were taking action to make things happen. But now you're completely shut off. You're holding back from this person. You're holding back. You're not wanting to make it work out with them anymore. You're losing that confidence and you're doubting yourself. That's how they see it. They see you as doubting yourself if you can make it happen. You just, they, they literally are getting that feeling that, you know what, now you've completely pulled back your energies and you're just being manipulative to a certain extent. Not in a bad way, but in a way where you're just hiding a lot of stuff. You know, you're trying to play a trick on them or you're just being very deceptive. You view this person as wanting a brand new start with you, okay? But there is still some delays here. Something's just not getting off ground, okay, between you and this person. Why? Because this person that you're dealing with is probably still crying over spilt milk. They're constantly focusing on what didn't work out in the past. They're focusing on, they're missing you, okay? There's a lot of regret they have, a lot of remorse they, they have. But the problem here is that they're not being able to look at the brighter side. They're not being able to focus on the positives out here. They're constantly focusing on the net negatives because of which there is either missed opportunities between you guys or something just doesn't seem to get off ground between you all, you know? All right. Well, um, why is all this happening? 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 Hmm. Because someone's non-committed. There. Someone's just not committing. Someone's not making a decision of the earth they want something long term. Someone out here has a choice to lose, to choose something long term, something traditional and commitment and getting into an exclusive relationship with you. Or they have a choice of being materialistic and focusing on their money, their career, their goals. Okay. And it's, they're all about the materialistic aspect of their life. And this person is not making a decision. They've kept you on hold out here. They're not making a choice. They're not making a choice. It's literally like this person is very avoidant to the entire connection right now, to the entire situation. It's like they feel the connection will automatically resolve itself, okay, if they keep their eyes closed and if they wear this blindfold. But that's not how it works. There's a lack of clarity out here because there is no communication. Because someone just chooses to stay at a stalemate and not wanting to make a decision out here. It's a very difficult decision that they need to make because you're dealing with someone here for whom money is very important, okay? Or probably someone here who's just not looking for something long term. But that's why probably they're just choosing to stay back and not make a decision. And that's frustrating the shit out of you. Even after you've been so emotional, okay? Now the thing is that I think you're getting obsessed with this person. It's not obsessed, but I feel you're definitely getting a little over the top emotional okay you're getting overly emotional about how this person is going about things okay and i think you're in that very you're very close to being into that depression mode okay because you love this person to the core but this person forced you to shut down completely okay they forced you to shut down and now you're not offering your love to them what action what action will this person take towards aquarius in the near future no, what action, yeah, what action will Aquarius take towards this person in the near future? 
you want to action will acquire stick towards this person in the near future okay and what action will this person take towards aquarius in the near future Why do I keep getting you're moving on? You're moving on. You're looking somewhere else. You're not even interested in this person. This person out here is definitely wanting a reconciliation here. This person wants to right a wrong. They know that things weren't balanced here. We already see that in the past. Things weren't balanced. This person wants to give, make things fair. They want to make things balanced. They want to give you what you deserve, okay? This person has got their karma, okay? And karmic justice is in your favor, okay? They want to get the ball rolling with you and they want to give you something probably even committed. But this person has learned their lessons. They want a reconciliation with you. They want to make things fair and balanced between you guys, okay? Because it wasn't in the past here. But you are just not interested, right? You're not interested. You're very, very clear and determined about what you want. And what you want to do is just moving forward here. You're taking action and moving forward. You're looking away from this person. I don't think you're you're as motivated, as passionate, as energetic, and as um, say uh, attracted to this person anymore. Because you're done doing all the work in this connection here, and now you're just like, I'm done. This is too much. Yeah, I don't think you have any emotions left for this person. Even if you do, I think you've just completely suppressed your emotions, repressed feelings. Is what I'm getting from your side. Whilst this person out here. It took them a while to realize that, oh, this is what they should have done or this is what they wanted with you. But they're finally coming towards you and they want a reconciliation. But I don't know how, if you're going to take it. What's the final outcome? What's the best possible outcome for Aquarius for this spirit? One more card for the final option. One more card for the final option. Hmm. You don't want to work with them anymore. This person wants to collaborate with you, okay? They want to they, they want teamwork with you. They want to build from scratch. This person sees the potential. They see that they can build a future with you, okay? They want to come together. But um earlier this person was someone, you know, people's opinions mattered a lot to them, okay? A work could be a very big issue for them. I already see work here. Work could be like their baby, okay? Work is like their first love. Someone that you're dealing with or people's opinions mattered. Now this person wants to come towards you, but now they're stressing the shit out because you're just not interested. I have a feeling you're not even going to communicate with them or even if they talk to you, you're just not going to reply to them. You're completely blocking them out, you know, like flat out blocking them. And now this person is having sleepless nights in the outcome. They are going to have sleepless nights because they are, they are saying that this relationship is just not, you guys are just not being able to come together. You guys are just not being able to collaborate and get on the same page. You don't, you, you don't want to work with them anymore because you were feeling undervalued. You weren't feeling appreciated for all the work that you put in. And now the control freak wants, is getting into their senses. Okay. They realize that they need to give you the love that you, that, that you deserve. They were acting single on this one, this connection or wanting, not even wanting commitment, but they still wanted to keep you in this relationship, getting all that lovey dovey, uh, emotions and feelings from you. Okay. But they never really gave to this as much as the, you, they should have. They kept avoiding a new start with you. They kept avoiding a commitment with you because probably they had in the past, they had issues in another relationship where things didn't work out and they were screwing up the potential of this connection because of their past or probably things didn't work out with you guys in the past and now they feel that there are chances it won't work out again because of which things just don't get off ground with you guys. But the outcome here is that they want to come in and work towards you but the chances are that you're not going to work with them. It's going to be a very one-sided situation. I'm getting this for every reading here. It's like literally the outcome is like a, you say a fucking no. And the crossword is like, no, please, let's work this. Let's do this. Let's, you know, whilst through March, Feb, March, I was seeing that this person was not ready to talk, not ready to open up. But now from the time of April, the tables have completely changed. And all these crosswatchers or whoever is, right, they're all waking up to the connection. And they're like, oh, my God, you know. But the problem here is that the ones that, that the ones who this reading resonates with, you guys are already done moving on because this person makes you wait forever. Believe me, in almost every readings I'm getting this. Well, they get their karma. 
you get your karma. They're coming back, that's your karma. And this person realizes the mistake they made and they regret it and they're begging to come back to you. That's their karma. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.